Hey guys, today I'm bringing you a review and demo of the new Tarte Stick Foundation. Guys, I'm so excited to be doing this video because I have been wearing this foundation for about two to three weeks now, so I'm very familiar with the product, um, how it wears on my skin and all that good stuff. In a little bit, I'll be sharing with you why I'm so excited to tell you guys about this foundation, but first of all, let's get some you know, information out of the way. And just in case you wanna skip the info, I will have timestamps down below, so definitely check that out. All right, so this foundation retails for 39 US dollars at Sephora.com, Tarte.com, and Ulta.com. You can also get it in store now, but definitely make sure to call the retailer that you're going to before you make the drive, just to make sure that they do have this. Comes in 12 different shades. I wear medium neutral. I believe they're also going to expand the shade range in this particular formula, so if you cannot find a shade that matches you right now, definitely stay tuned because I love it so much. And just so you can relate a little bit better to me, I do have combination skin. It leans more on the dry side. My T-zone definitely does get a little bit oily. Also, I live in Texas, which means it gets really hot down here, very humid. The weather is all over the place. It could be raining one day and then very sunny the next day. So I need a foundation that is going to stay on my skin. And because of the weather, I don't like the feel of foundation. It just feels like it's melting away from your face and that's never a good feeling. Also, as I've gotten older, obviously my skin has changed. I've gotten a couple of fine lines up here. So most full coverage foundations tend to settle in those fine lines, which I don't like because I feel like it makes me look older, which brings me into why I really like this foundation. So let's go ahead and start the demo so that way I can tell you a little bit more about this product. Before I apply my foundation, I like to apply a little bit of sunscreen because this foundation does not contain any sunscreen as opposed to the regular Amazonian clay foundation, which contains SPF 15. You definitely wanna make sure that you are using sunscreen during the day. And just a side note, I do cleanse and hydrate my face every single time before applying any sort of makeup product to my face. Because I have larger pores on the center of my face, I like to use a primer to fill those guys in for a smoother appearance. The one that I absolutely love is the Tarte BB Tinted Primer in the shade Medium. I love this primer so much for so many reasons. It has a little bit of a tint of color, so sometimes I wear it by itself. Um, it's very velvety and smooth to the touch, very thin, but it's definitely going to help blur out any pores or fine lines wherever you apply it on your face. And it has SPF 30. And a very small amount goes a very long way. You can apply this primer with your fingers if you like. I like to apply it with a brush, and this is the only primer that I honestly apply with a brush. It's very smooth and velvety, so it blends out really nicely. And like I mentioned, sometimes I use this primer by itself because it does offer a little bit of coverage, but it is also buildable. So if you want more of a medium coverage, you can definitely achieve it with this. It's mattifying as well, so it's going to help with the T-zone. Remember, I have combination skin more on the dry side. My T-zone gets really oily, so that's why I wear it only on the T-zone. Now, for the rest of my face, I like to use the stick foundation because it's gonna give me that medium to full coverage. Remember how I don't like the, the feel of a full coverage foundation? This one actually is super lightweight but still offering you tons of coverage, if that makes sense. It's a very buildable foundation, so I like to start off with two stripes on each side of my face, buff it in with a brush, and then if I need a little bit more coverage, then I'll do a little bit more, and then buff it in with the brush again. It's a liquid to powder formula in a stick form, which makes it very convenient and easy to, you know, travel with and apply all over your face and then buff it in with a buffer brush. It has a very natural skin-like finish, which I absolutely love because it looks obviously very natural on the skin, but still um, evening out your skin tone and covering up things that you don't want to show. I tend to buff my foundation a little bit more on the center of my face so that way it shears it out. It's not too heavy coverage on the center of my face. And if you have drier skin like I do, this formula has micro encapsulated powders which are going to burst when you start buffing with the warmth of your skin. Isn't that cool? So you don't necessarily have to set your foundation where you are drier. Since I am a little bit oily on the T-zone, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, but I just find that to be cool because you're avoiding applying more texture onto the skin. Every layer of makeup that you apply into your skin, whether it's your contour, your highlight, your setting powder, all of that are layers of makeup, which can definitely add more texture to your skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer right now because 
After my foundation, I do apply concealer, which as you can tell, I've already done. And then I like to set just my T-zone with a very light powder, just to mattify that area even further. But I'm not gonna do the rest of my face, like my cheeks and stuff. I'm just gonna leave that as it is. Alright guys, so this is my full face of makeup. It feels very lightweight. It doesn't feel super heavy on the skin. It definitely does not look cakey for being a full coverage, medium to full coverage foundation. I actually went back before I applied bronzer and blush to sheer out the foundation just a little bit more because that's how I personally like it. Um, in the demo, I just wanted to show you how buildable this foundation is. I'm so glad I got to try this foundation for about three weeks with primer, like, you know, just testing it out before I actually put out this video into the world. Uh, hopefully it was helpful for you guys. Before you leave, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out any future videos. You can also share this video with a friend so that way you can help somebody else in the makeup world. I'll have my Instagram username down in the description bar below as well as any other additional information that I probably forgot to mention in this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate all your views, your comments, your likes, as well as all the people who have been subscribing to my channel. That definitely means a lot to me. It lets me know that you guys believe in me and I really do appreciate that. It makes me just wanna make more videos so that way I can show you guys what I know, help you guys out in some sort of way. So if you have any suggestions, let me know on the comments below, any video suggestions. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.